It goes without saying that anything in this video is for entertainment purposes only. All chemicals that I'm going to talk about are probably watched in the country you're in, meaning that if you buy them without having a good reason, you can expect a visit from Mr. Smith. And just as Walter White says, it's all basic chemistry, this stuff can be found out with a little bit of elbow grease and some good books on organic chemistry. I recommend Wade from Pearson. If you are going to try and make it, good luck making it. Because if you do not have three years of lab training under your belt, your yields are probably going to be shit and you'll blow yourself up at least twice. Not a lot of people understand chemistry. It's a lot of work to understand the concepts. There's a lot of math involved and in the beginning all of your experiments will fail. It is therefore not a big surprise that not a lot of people end up studying organic chemistry. A while ago there was this series called Breaking Bad. It's about a chemistry teacher turned drug lord. It had a lot of people really hyped that they would finally do something cool with chemistry in the media. A lot of times writers do not know anything about science, let alone chemistry, and science will be used like some sort of magic to fix plot points. Although not all chemistry in Breaking Bad is spot on, a lot of it is. In one scene Walter White and Jesse Pinkman sit down at the table discussing their new way to make methamphetamine. Jesse says that he will not be able to get his hands on enough pseudo. Pseudo meaning pseudoephedrine, an ingredient in cold medication. Walter White then tells him that he does not need pseudoephedrine. This struck some of my friends as weird. See, they didn't understand that organic chemistry is basically like Legos. Just like chemistry, Lego has rules. Some moves are legal, and some moves are illegal. And in the same sense that you could build almost anything out of Legos, you can make almost anything from anything with chemistry. So with that said, to demonstrate that chemistry is like Legos, I'm going to add my love for chemistry and Legos together by showing you how to make methamphetamine out of Legos. Let's go. The first method I found was pretty straightforward. I used styrene and the Kindler modification of the Wildschrott reaction to produce phenylacetic acid. The only problem with this approach is that it would require extremely high temperatures, which would need to be achieved with a tube furnace, and also the addition of an obscure catalyst. So I started from scratch again and tried to come up with a different synthetic strategy. Legos are made from a plastic called ABS. This is a polymer consisting of ABNS, acetonitrile, butadiene and styrene. Legos can then be depolymerized under heat to, uh, to yield the monomers, the acetonitrile, butadiene and styrene mixtures. These mixtures can then be separated and the styrene can be isolated with a simple distillation. In this synthesis, styrene is converted to styrene peroxide by using perobenzoic acid in a Prilechev reaction. Following this, a Grignard reagent can be prepared, which then uh, is used to attack the styrene peroxide, forming a mixture of 2-phenylpropanol and 1-phenylpropantool. For, as you see, the Grignard reagent can attack on two points on the ep epoxide ring, opening it to two possible products. The mixture of these two possible products then needs to be separated before it can be reacted again. The phenyl 2 propanol is isolated and the alcohol group is oxidized using an appropriate oxidizing agent like pyridinium chlorochromate, here abbreviated PCC. This yields phenyl 2 propanol which can be turned into our desired product by reductive emanation of the ketone. The addition of methylamine will yield the imine intermediate, which can be reduced by adding our favorite reducing agent, lithium aluminium hydride, giving us methamphetamine, which can be purified by recrystallization. The street rats use aluminum amalgams to reduce that imine, but this uses mercury, which is hard to get, extremely toxic and produces a lot of waste. 